again. Hey, hey. Okay, and we are... Not the uh, one you just did. <laughs> really <laughs> true. <laughs> Wait, we're live? Yes. <laughs> Hello, yes, one and all, and welcome to the say. next God. Yeah, that's the right one. <laughs> what, you didn't want me to say that? You didn't want to introduce people to our brand? Um... I'm going to be your humble dungeon master, Brent Rogers, and this is my intrepid crew. Say hello, intrepid crew. Hello. 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 Yo. Wonderful. I believe we're going to pick up where we last left off last week at the beginning of a hunt. Um, but for those of you who are perhaps unfamiliar with what's going on, welcome to Avatar, the Age of Bone. In this series... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, lagging uh -oh. seems to be happening still. That's all good. Wait, if the audio is good, should I keep going? Very strange. Yeah, because I can definitely see the lag. I'm connected today, so it's not me. Mm -hmm. I promise. Um, I mean, is it me? Like, should I just turn off my video? No, no. I it's, don't think I don't, it's, I think it's your video that's affecting it. Oh, okay. Nothing to do with me. That's good. I like that. I mean, I don't <laughs> like it. But I like it. All right. In the meantime, I'll just read quotes from my father's Facebook page. Excuse? Nothing like a father's wisdom. <laughs> oh, Pretend wow. it's a podcast. No amount of guilt can change the past, and no amount of worry can change the future. Be present. Was that it's one deep. post? That was one post. <laughs> For a second, it sounded like two, so... Yeah, be Merry present. Christmas. Yeah, just be present. Everyone. That's it. <laughs> That'd be a pretty good one. Uh, it would be. Let's see. I got to scroll and find another one. Oh. Uh, alarm clocks for retirees. Like it's better. It's a chalkboard that says go back to sleep or get up early. Entirely up to you. How many are uh, entirely up to you? Every day, once you're retired. <laughs> once you're a retiree. Um, <laughs> the most important lesson you can learn is that a healthy love does not hurt. It heals. Damn. <clears throat> That's potent. Uh, your mind believes what you tell it. So tell it Positive things. Mm. That's true as well. It's not bad. Actually, that's a that's a conversation sparker right there. Um, read a really, really kind of emotional post today where it was like, picture yourself as a 10-year-old kid in front of you. Mm. And then it was like, if you were talking to that kid, would you tell them that they were ugly? Would you tell them that they're not worth anything? Would you tell them to give up? Would you tell them, like, you know, would you punish them? Would you berate them? And it's like, I think even going through the thought exercise for me was like, I couldn't, I couldn't say that to little Brent. He was so, he was just a little guy. Um, and it made me really sad. And the bottom half of the post was essentially saying like, you can't, can you like, don't talk to yourself like that in your head. Like, you know, talk to yourself like you should talk to that little kid and, you know, be encouraging and, and be good to yourself. Um, I berate I, the shit out of little me. <laughs> it felt like a trap. I don't know. I was. They just Flat led me into that post. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> dumbass. Even if you're a dumbass, right? It's like no one deserves to be told, like, you're worthless. Like, you're not worth anything in this world. Like, a child? I'm like, you might be worthless one day. But not right now. Now you're just potential. Yeah. The potential to be worthless. And that's worth something. 
a, a, a child full of potential or a worthless human being? Hey, it's you're a journey. Here. You're worth you it to us. <laughs> Just right now, we happen to be worth zero uh, on this podcast, but one day we'll be worth at least a dollar. Like monetary value, though. <laughs> 20 eyes right now? God. Well, unless somebody's blind in one eye. Mm. Yeah. Cloney. <laughs> <laughs> so if if we're better now with uh, the the lag spikes, I think we can uh, we can start. We can start. I can I, I can introduce us for a third time. Uh third time's a charm. Let it rip. Welcome to the Hexagon. I'm your oh, humble oh. and uh, worthless dungeon master, Brent Rogers. And today uh, I'm going to be playing with this lovely crew. Uh, say a hi, lovely crew. Yeah. Hi, lovely, hi crew. lovely crew. Hi. <laughs> wow. That's an inside joke for geeks and nerds. Um, Last time on Avatar, the Age of Bone, we found our troop of, I think, unwilling adventurers in a rural town on the frontier of wilderness in a wild and imaginative world. And they were about to go on a hunt. Now, for those of you who haven't been with us, the Age of Bone is a post-apocalyptic Avatar campaign Far in the future, the Avatar has been gone for a thousand years, and things have changed. The world has been rocked by calamitous events, unchecked, unbalanced for many ages. And so the ages have turned from gold to silver, to bronze, to stone, to bone. And now here we stand on the precipice of nothing, of all that's left. But our band of adventurers don't know that. They're just living their lives. Um, and a huge revelation happened last time on the show. Um, the Avatar is part of our band of adventurers, except they're a dinosaur. But we'll learn yeah. more about that as we go. And now you are all in... Oops, I have a bunch of uh, ostrich turtles up on the screen. Let's just switch that over <laughs> into the town. You're all in the town of Crescent, um, just as the hunting party is leaving. So the town with its large kind of like sheltered forge uh, in the middle of town. Uh, I can bring up a picture of what that looks like as soon as I find my mouse. Here we are. Um, Kind of like misty steam, kind of like like steam and like smoke coming from the forge. A little bit of a mist coming from the waters around. Uh, I think like the runoff and like the heat of the forge, it's like connected to the water in some places. So there's like steam as well swirling around this little island um, that parts the river in two around it. The hunting party is comprised of all of the tribes that make up this village. Um, and so we have the Vento Cristo, we have the builders, we have the soul protectors, we have the, uh, the Sangon who live here, and we even have the rovers, uh, if you guys will remember, and even they have equipment and are getting ready. And boy, what equipment do they have? As you all came in to the village, I believe that you looked around and one of the soul protectors, um, her name was Izuna, uh, had kind of stopped to talk to you before you joined the kind of like main pack. And you beheld the sight of the villagers equipped, armed to the teeth uh, with weapons and armor made from the bones and hides of dinosaurs and other you know beasts that they've been able to hunt uh, at the frontier to the great wilds. Um, the kind of... I want to say dangerous wilds that prevent and kind of, you know, hem in humanity uh, when it tries to spread. Um, so not only is the environment itself a little bit dangerous, it seems that the animals around here are as well. So as they, the main force starts to leave, 
Um, what are you all doing? What are we doing? Um, <clears throat> I'm probably ready to just start going along with them, following them into uh, into the hunting grounds. Sure. So I don't Sue... know. Yeah, I think uh, Sue's just going to go. He's not really going to even bring anything with him. Uh, yes. Oh, and you'll remember Izuna had kind of mentioned that she could probably get you guys equipped for some sort of a discount if you were going to help with the hunt. Oh, um, right. Yeah, the weapons. But it was fairly steep price, I think at a thousand shins. Um, it would take almost everything you guys have. Yeah. Are the Neoterics anywhere close? Uh, you do not see the Neoterics in the hunting party as it leaves. So they're just not even at the entrance of the village. Doesn't look like you can see them from here. Um, I think that, Shen, you note, like, the forge is, like, being operated right now. Okay. Shen. Uh, yeah, yeah, what's up? Yeah, uh, you, you remember this dagger I have? Yeah. Yeah, it's worth, like, a thousand shins. You think it would be worth it to get a bunch of weapons? Well, look, I know a little bit about the soul protectors, and that that weapon comes from the soul protector that's relatively high up in its rankings. It could open up some doors later on if you wanted to keep it. Oh, but geez. if you wanted to sell it, then it's, it's up to you. It's uh, a handy thing to have. No, you're kind of stressing me out now, actually. Do you want to hold on to it, actually? I feel uh, like you're better with this kind of stuff. I mean, I believe you're completely fine with it, but if you want me to. Okay. I'll tuck it back away. Do you take it ever extra, If there's ever some extra tasty food on sale, I might, I might just crack under the pressure, okay? Did you, did you take out the dagger? Okay. Do you want to roll to be like extra stealthy as you do it? Or do you want, you just like, try uh, to no, I, I like, I turn to face Shen so that we're like relatively close to each other. And then I just like, you know, I'm like holding it with like hands cusped around it, like showing it to him and then I'll put it back in my pocket. So I, that, that's the extent of the sneakiness. I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh. Look, it's it's something that was given to you, so it's yours to use as you will. But just wanted to let you know that it could have some significance. Well, it would have significance with uh, the soul yeah. protectors. I'll keep that in mind. I just figured it might be a good idea to you know use it for all of us. But uh, I'll I'll keep my eye out. Maybe there's something better we could use it on. It's very possible. Um, but do you guys know how to hunt? Uh, I've only ever hunted crabapedes. Uh, I just follow Jola. Oh, that's true. Of course. Yeah, I've never hunted anything large. Just enough to feed myself, really. Come with us. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, You prance forward into the village. Oh, wait. Into the village? Not out? Well, I mean, you have I to go through the, the village to go oh, out. Yeah. Oh, right, it's the other gate. Entrance. It's the other gate. Yeah, there's yeah. the other gate. That's where they're kind of like they had made that ice bridge um, that spans the width of the river. Um, and there's the the two sang on um, Zadam and Nalik. So, does this uh, trek mm -hmm. through the village? Does that happen to pass by the forge? Uh, you could pass by the forge. Yeah. You want to, you can think of the village as kind of like a circle, right? And so in the middle of the circle, there's a bunch of like houses and stuff and storage and things like that with the wall on the outer edge. And if you guys come in one side of the circle, you have to like go around the circle, right? To get to the other gate because it's, it's exactly opposite. And so the forge is at the end of the village that's closest 
to the sea. Okay. Uh, no, you know what? Uh, no, I kind of like Shen will look towards the forge as they're walking, but they'll continue going out towards the gate. Yeah, I, I think that like you probably catch a, gl a glimpse of like one of the Neoterics in there. Uh, one of them just seems to be like writing, you know, at a desk there, um, just, like taking notes or something. Okay. Okay. You continue on, uh, Coloni and Jet. You guys just following along. Uh, Izuna is waiting at the gate for you guys. I think that you guys are probably like the last to to cross. Um, <laughs> yeah, so bringing bringing that anxiety forward as you walk uh, and you debate this, um, Jet, you see this kind of like ponderous look on Coloni's face. You're right about the uh, the Avatar too. Uh... What's got you looking so troubled then? Did you eat something bad? Was it the meat? Why not? We normally solve our problems by fighting. I don't know if I could stop Sue though. Sue hasn't stopped talking about Baba since I met him. Wouldn't be the first time. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, and, and one of us can team up with, with Zoo. If, I feel like if we leave him alone, he might just say, screw it to the competition, attack Baba. But if he knows that one of us are relying on him, he might hold back. He's a good guy. Do we, what are we even doing here on this on this like hunt? Uh, and as you guys say that, as you leave, uh, Izuna will kind of like clap you on the back um, and say, "Ostrich turtles, of course." But don't we have? Like, <sighs> Never mind. What was that? What was that? Any tips for? Ostrich yeah, you turn around to speak to her and she kind of looks at you all and goes, have you never hunted of any ostrich turtles before? No, I don't think so. Right. Well, the turtles are bloody fast and they can be quite ferocious if cornered. One ostrich turtle is usually not a... Uh, big deal, but once there are two or more, um, they would be able to turn on you uh, and make proper work. 
and she kind of like something she like, like the marmot tiger uh she like shrugs and goes marmot tigers are, are are strong when they sneak up on you um but i i don't think that they would be you know a head-to-head -head fight they probably wouldn't be that bad and ostrich turtles are similar in that if there's a swarm of them you know they are kind of durable but they don't do much damage um but you see that thing catch her eye uh and she points and directs everyone's attention and i'll bring up that photo i had before um created with mid journey ai um we have our ostrich turtles they come in many shapes and sizes um and in this case, um, you guys see a, a few of them kind of like at the, like in the tree line, they seem to be like hopping up and down from the trees uh, and generally like going around. And Izuna, as she's pointing, says, these little bastards, they've eaten all the fruit and bugs around here, driven away the insect life that we've depended on. They're kind of like a plague of locusts going around and eating everything and multiplying as fast as they can. Generally, they are predators that would prey on them, but it seems that the predator has maybe moved on for some reason, and now they're kind of out of control, and it's going to be up to us to cull the numbers. So, are they local or are they invasive? They're, they're not from this region. As far as we know, they come from deeper... Uh, in the woods, they've been spotted usually around uh, the ancient city, deep, deep in the woods. But we don't go out that far to to hunt for crescent. Um, but now they're here, and we we have to take care of this. So generally, they're not extremely bright creatures. Um, if you can get them to run into a trap, that'll usually work. Um, but a lot of the work is catching them in the first place. Um, and doing enough damage to get past their shell. Right. You had mentioned something about... I bet if you get them on their back, they're pretty, like... Screwed. You would think, but with their long heads, um, they can actually just push themselves over. Damn. Get them on their back, go for the throw. <laughs> One, two, really quick. Um, I think Izuna maybe splits off with you, Rufu, for a so second. As you, uh... like fan slice. <laughs> yeah, so you guys start talking about how you could maybe best kill some ostrich turtles. Um, the rest of you hear this, but is there anything you guys want to do? Uh, the hunting parties seem to, like, they turn around and, like, I think they kind of, like, they see Jolo, they see you guys, um, and then don't really interact with you. They kind of, like, split up. Uh, you see the tribes split up into their own factions. Essentially, the Vento Cristo stick, stick with them. The Sangons go. Um, so the builders, I think, like seem to stick together. But I think that, uh, Sue, since you're keeping particular watch on Baba, you'll notice mm -hmm. that like as they get to the tree line, like the other two separate from Baba, and Baba goes alone into the woods. I'll just like be like, hey, guys, we should go this way. I look at Colonia. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. We'll go let's go. It. Where does Joe's nose lead? <laughs> well, we see them in the tree line, right? Um, you saw some, but like as the hunters like were getting close, and they the hunters yeah. seem to be like walking slowly towards the the ostrich uh, turtles but then like they kind of like and then um so then when they split up they kind of like go like they fan out but all go in the direction like where they ran to hmm. so they seem to be like making a bit of a net and going in Or, or we distract him for so long that he can't even kill any. That'll teach him. It's 
So Akuno is here, like kind of like nearest you guys, and he kind of calls out and goes, "We'll pay you for any ostrich turtles you bring back. Shells are worth ten shins." Wait, wasn't Ooh. didn't one of them stay back? Uh, Izuno is talking with um, ba -ba -ba Rufu. And Akuno is like a little bit back by the gate. So as you guys like walk forward, he calls out okay. to you. Um, so he's staying back. Uh, Yuzuna seems to have like come out, um, but it seems like she might be staying back as well. Um, she kind of like hasn't joined any other hunting party. Okay. Well, uh, we could either distract Bubba, as uh, Zu was saying, or try and wrangle as many as we can. It would get us a bit of shin as well, which would be helpful. I'm going to stomp the floor, push up like a little rock out of the ground and like catch it in my hands, uh, tuck it under my arm like a little football, and I'm going to go, uh, well, I'm going this way uh, in the direction of Bubba, and I'm just going to start like walking over. Uh, wait up. <laughs> I'll run after you. All right, I'm uh, I'm gonna move you one towards force, Sue. One towards force. I can't move more towards force. Ooh, you can't move. Towards force. I'm a three. <laughs> this is me being forceful. Oh no. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you deny a call out right now, but you're definitely you're going off the deep end, buddy. Oh. Um, that's gonna put me out of the scene if I get pushed over, right? If on a 10 plus, um, oh boy, okay, um, deny a call out, yeah, on a 10 plus, you're out of the scene. Roll with that principle, yeah, so you get a plus three to this, okay, <laughs> so uh, seven or higher, okay, here we go. I got a 10, exactly. On a 10 plus, you're out of the scene. Uh, ah. and as you, you charge forward into the forest. Um, if anyone wants to try and follow Sue, yeah. they can. Oh, but no. Sue's like, he's ignoring I, all of you. Yeah, I, I, like, not... I take a couple steps forward. And then I know I see that he's like sort of disappearing in like the brush or like a you know in the tree line or whatever, and yeah, then I just take catch, off. Like, I just start running after him. That's it. A glimpse and he's gone, and and you go. Um, Shen's but... following. You can't let Zoo go alone. Right. They break for it. Uh, Ananta uh, kind of like looks at the rest of you like, like what do we do? We do, we don't even have a plan. cares about food we have enough food who's our friend i'm gonna go help him come on joe so you start running after him as well um sue as you go into the forest i think the kind of like foliage like obscures sue for for a second um and i so you hear like a whisper kind of like in like unintuitively like around a tree like going away from the hunting party uh um, mm. like follow me if you can boy oh, what did you just say uh, got my bold in hand i want to smoke <laughs> <laughs> uh you dart off that wrong way shen i think you run straight ahead kind of like and just you lose track of Sue in the brush. Can I try and track him? Because I don't think Sue's being particularly like <laughs> careful, like with forestry and everything. I, I'll say he's being reckless. So as he runs through and, and he's like, broken like branches, hitting there trees, yeah, he's like going crazy through it. Um, but you're like coming in and it's like the like trees are like catching on your clothing and you're like, you don't want to rip your clothes. Sue like doesn't care. But that's it. So like given that like I'm taking more time to get through it, can I have that like second to look around and see the 
the barreling suit going through. <laughs> Just the like woods. a cleared path. Uh, yeah, you, <laughs> you see the destruction path. maybe veer off. So Romeo rely on your skills and training to try and yeah. like pick up his trail. Uh, but Sue, one of the rules, you're effectively out of this, uh, yeah, yeah. this scene. So I got an eight. Uh, so on a on an eight, like you can see the general direction that Sue went. Um, so like you can like start following it if you want to, uh, but it is away from the hunt. That's okay. My main reason for coming onto the hunt was to make sure that Sue didn't, uh, well, didn't get hurt because seeing what happened before in the last altercation. Mm -hmm. So everyone else kind of like shows up. You see Shen like looking at the ground and, uh, Look, uh, I think he went this way. It's it's away from the hunt, but I, I, you can't I can't leave him alone against Bubba. I'm I'm going this way. If you guys want to go and grab some ostrich turtles shells for for some travel provisions, that'd be that would be all right as well. But I'm going after him, and I'll head off. I'll kick Papa Sue's ass. <laughs> Is everyone? Uh... Yo, you got the scent. <laughs> and then he goes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so everyone starts to head off in that direction. I'm going to say that it goes for a little while, and so you guys go through the woods. Um, you hear kind of like some sounds off in the distance. Um, but the path that Sue was taking, it was kind of like parallel with the tree line at first, and then it curves and starts to go deeper into the woods, kind of like where everyone else was going. Um, but still away, like, you know, like if it's an angle, you know, it's slowly you're going in a very different direction and you're going to end up in a very different spot uh, where the others were going. Um, I would like everyone at this point to roll me and assess the situation. Everyone except okay. suit. Yes, um, uh, that's with creativity, actually. Can I use uh, one of my moves, actually? Wait and listen. So when I assess the situation, I can take the time uh, to absorb hidden or deep information by marking one fatigue to roll with focus instead. All right, cool. I'm going to wait for you to give your amazing roll. Oh. So, I rolled the. I rolled the ten. E, there it is. Uh, Jack got a seven. I rolled an eleven. Yo. All right, so Coloni, uh, you're traveling through this forest, and I think maybe you're caught up with like how different it is from your forest. Um, your forest, I think, is more of like a, a bamboo like jungle type forest it's kind of like nestled in a in a nice spot that's been protected by hay by for you know a thousand years um so in a lot of senses it's kind of well managed um this forest is old and overgrown and as you travel through it there's like a darkness as you kind of get under the canopies as the trees grow larger and larger the further you get away from you know the humanity settlements um and i think you can all tell that near the edge of the forest the trees were cut down in some places and have been dragged away and like humans have cleared stuff and but the deeper you get the more that it's not like this at all the more old growth that you'll find, the more of like a an ecosystem there is here, and it is a large ecosystem. Um, all of the the kind of like there's fungus at the roots of the trees, and it's like these big mushrooms as big as a bush, um, and different types of them too. Um, you see like these kind of like flowers that like where there's a gap of sun coming down, it'll like open up. Um, I think that they like sway slightly, even though there's no wind. Um, trunks that are very large around. Um, you couldn't fit your hands around the tree. Um, Jet, you got a seven. Yeah. You notice that there are animal tracks around. 
So there are kind of like different tracks that are here in the woods. Like there's there's a bunch of different types. So it's maybe I don't know that you would be able to pinpoint exactly which animal it was. Um, and I and I don't think you got like no one stopped to check like what kind of tracks an ostrich turtle would have. So I don't think like you'd be able to to tell if any of those of these were those. Um, and I think for those who got a ten plus, um, is there any question in particular that you're looking for on the list uh, in addition to the observations? Um, for those, I just want to check to see what the questions are once more. Yeah, because I'll give you, I'll give you, you know, an, an addition, like ask a question, uh, and there's a little, a last little piece of tidbit of information. So, I have a question. oh, go for it. Mm -hmm. What, what here can I use to take out Bubba? Hold on. Appa needs to go out, though. I'm listening. I'm just gonna. Uh, what gear could you use to take out Baba? <laughs> He's already taken out Baba. <laughs> yeah, like. What... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I want to know what. Like, is there a way that I can position myself to be better advantageous? Okay, I I think that confrontation with Baba. You know he's an earthbender, so probably you'll have to restrain him or knock him out or get him off the ground in some way, and that, that would, like, weaken him. Um, mm. And you saw his armor is made of, like, a bunch of bone. Um, so you know, like, metal bending probably wouldn't work too well on him. Um, and he's, like, he's fairly well protected. I don't know that I would be able to metal bend sure fire way to, to knock him out. I can't metal bend it anyway. But like there's no hmm. There's no natural like I can I collect a beehive or something like that. <laughs> uh I I'm gonna say you can't collect a a bee like I maybe like you see a beehive. Um it's like a little ways away and like a like a bit of a clearing. <laughs> Um, or like a large branch comes over and it's like in the shade, but it's like a beehive that's the size of you. Like it's a humongous beehive. Okay. I'll clock it. I'll clock it. I'll Absolutely. Clock it. You mark where that beehive is in the forest. You kind of try and remember. Um, Jolo's with you. Jolo's like hesitant to go towards a bunch of bees. Uh, you have desert wasps. You know what's up. Right, yeah. uh, Shen. Do you have a yeah. question? So my question would be, what would be my best way through to zoo? So I think that the best way through is, in this case, probably to... Like, you you got to go faster, I think. And so you should probably, like, bend if you would want to go faster to, like, catch up. Um but you know that that would kind of like be kind of loud if you did that. Uh, but it's probably your fastest, best way through. And the last bit of information is I think that specifically Rufu, Jolo, and Shen, you all notice um, like predators like marking their territory. Um, so it's like large claw marks that have like stripped bark in a couple of places. And it's like this area of the forest belongs to something. Okay. So I'll mention that to everyone. I'm just going to be like, look, I think we've just come into something, into something's territory. And I uh, probably won't be too friendly if, uh, well, yeah, the hairs on the back of my neck stood up, so that's how you know that there's a predator around. Oh. Oh. Only all kids had this power. What? Yeah. Do I even have hair on the back of my neck? Just, like, move all my hair out of the way. Oh. It is standing up. Oh. Guys. Now you know. 
Keep your eyes peeled. Look. If you guys continue going this way, you can probably find Zoo. And if necessary, look, uh, I can distract whatever might find us. I don't think fighting would be our best option in this case. Let's find Sue first before we even think about that. Maybe those were Zoo's tracks. He was pretty bad. Sue doesn't have claws like that. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I don't think he's ever. No, look, his, he, he's got the, look, look at his at giant me? footprints. They're like they're they're, this way. they're super deep. Small, small, like small feet, but very deep and set into the ground. You know, they're clearly defined. Oh, gosh. Sue, not like. Yeah, I think you can you can still pick out like where Sue went in this area. Uh, it's like a it's a fresh path, right? And Shen's on the path, so you kind of see it like go through. Like, even if there's like a say like a nexus of tracks and like, some spots, it's like you can see clearly where Sue went. Can I start uh, now that I'm like in like scared mode? Maybe like disturbing the earth behind us to not leave our own tracks if we are leaving tracks. Uh, I'll say you can spend a fatigue to do that because you're going to be doing it for like a while. Uh, ye uh, but then we might not know our way back. It's melting the ground behind us. <laughs> do you think the lava? Do you think I should uh, cover up our tracks? I don't know if that thing might be following us already i think it won't use our tracks to follow us but rather our scent oh. yeah you're right <laughs> okay i'll just keep an eye behind us i keep turning around you keep an eye out see a bunch of uh critters kind of like watching you from the forest as you go um some things kind of hanging out and hanging around. Uh, they're all in the darkness, and it's kind of like the glints of their eyes. And I think everyone gets a little bit creeped out, maybe, by this forest. It's midday. Like, that's not even midday. You guys started, like, early in the morning at sunrise. And this forest should be a lot brighter than it is, but it's not. It's canopied and dark. It's lush, and it's loud. Um, the sounds of insects as you come in here are kind of all around you. The sounds of kind of like jaws chomping on something um, through the underbrush. Strangely, I think you see no sound signs of Baba and you hear no signs of conflict. I think Baba's luring, luring uh, Zoo into some place that uh, might kill him. And then he'll just leave. You think he's uh, gonna Anantra kill looks like shocked and terrified at that, you know, that effect of like Sue just got lured to his murder, to his death. He wouldn't but, kill him, would he? <laughs> Bubba's even further than Zoo. So right now, the main focus should be catching up to Zoo. As you say this, you come to the end of the trail. It stops dead. It looks like there's like a kind of like some broken like twigs or some stuff around here. Like there's like a trampled mushroom kind of thing. Um, okay. But no signs of earth bending. No more tracks. Um, can I just pop myself up? Above the canopy, see if there's anything that, like moving in the direction. Like, row yourself, or do you like make like an earth pillar? No, like I make like an earth tower. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> you make this earth tower. It kind of like rises up. Uh, Ananta is going to kind of like dart around as well and kind of like scout out the clearing around you guys. Um, Jolo, like you can start sniffing, um, looking around at stuff. You don't. Really see anything? Uh, I think about. Can Roku try and get a sense for? Oh, go ahead. 
under the ground. If I can like jump off and go on all fours and I'm not wearing any shoes or nothing, and I want to try and sense like if there's any passageways underground or something like that. Uh, sure. I think like you can kind of like try and feel the earth around you. Um, I don't think you've trained in any seismic sense though, right? Yeah, and with I think That's your right. home being the shifting sands, I think that that wouldn't be incredibly intuitive. Um, roll, roll me or rely on your skills and training um, as you kind of stomp around looking for stuff. Um, Shen, you notice yeah. the a I, commotion. It's, it's not like really a tremor. Sense. It's more stomping around looking for like like thin layers. <laughs> Sure. Uh, you, you don't find any traps, I'm going to say, just from stomping around and looking around. Um, what, what did you roll? Oh, um, rely on my skills and training. That's focus. Okay. Oh, that's good. So that's a 13. I have a plus two to focus. This is a six and a five. So it's 13? Yeah, there was a fight here. Uh, there's no hidden tunnel as far as you can tell. Um, but I think that you notice that strangely, again, it's like you see Sue's trail and then Baba's, there's no trail for Baba. Um, and it's like, okay. it's just really weird. Like, like you've searched this area really good on the ground. Like maybe you're like on all fours going around with Jolo as you guys are like sniffing around. Um, as far as you can tell, Sue was here alone. Maybe Bob is a spirit. Hold on. Uh, you can okay. go ahead and roll with Harmony. That, what the yeah. wait, what? Oh, okay. Box cars plus three. Damn. How many box? No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, that's the best. Only one get getting box game. cars, really. You to be honest. So many box cars. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, <laughs> with a fifteen, uh, I think you you feel out. We're recording. You, you feel, I think, more than ever Jolo's presence. Um, now that you know who Jolo is. Avatar. And I think also on a 15, I think you don't sense anything unusual, like, away from your companions. Um, but I think that you would sense a a kind of, like, like a disturbance and maybe Jolo's aura. Um, but you're, you're not quite sure what that would be. Yeah, there's something odd there. Like, a, how could I describe this? There's like a drain on his aura. Yeah, so you, you pat him, you start taking a look at him. He seems pretty good. He's just like, you know, he stops sniffing around and he kind of like lets you caress him for a second um, as you check him over. Um, he doesn't look, you know, the expression, he doesn't look green around the gills. He doesn't have gills, but, you know, you know what I mean? He, he seems to be doing okay. Um, 
And as you like touch him and you like get close yeah, to him, I think. <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? I haven't Gale heard me in chat. <laughs> um, you so you touch him, and I think like as you do, it's like you're closer to the disturbance. Um, it's like it's like in the center of him. Uh, okay. Uh, this was my year earlier. Um. Okay. Uh. Maybe we should. Maybe we should sit to the side or find Zoom and get out of here as quick as possible because this is not. This is not good. Jello, there's something wrong with Jello. And she'll just kind of like say that up. I think Rufu is riding Jolo right now, right? No, he was like sniffing around well, in the ground. Yeah, he popped off. Ground. Oh, popped off. Okay. Well, I, what I, direction that he went into? I'm not, I'm not far. Yeah. So like wherever oh, he, he went to. Yeah, she's like snapping her head toward you and be like, "There's something wrong with Jolo. We get out of here quickly." What? What do you mean? Wait. What is it, buddy? Did you get if something I in do... your foot? Get out. Still looking back. You know, there's some something's weird with this spirity aura, and I don't like it. It's, it's, it's not. This, he seems fine, but he also doesn't seem. But his foot's okay. I'm like checking his toes. She's looking down. Have you seen <laughs> he, he looks you fully lets you guys look at him, no problems. Uh, and as you guys are examining him, I think that Shen. Above the treetops, you notice um, the kind of commotion of the hunt as it proceeds deeper into the forest away from you. Um, as you guys have kind of come up uh, this way. Oh, no. Ah, oh, crap. Well, I just removed something I didn't want to remove. That's fine. I'll open it again later. <laughs> Go on. Um, not forever. You guys see anything weird flash up for a second? Yes. A dinosaur? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Actually, no. Sorry. It's all good. Can I ask totally randomly, who made the gift for the tweet? I don't know who made yeah. it. I posted it. <laughs> um, that, was, that was really cool. Is that the uh, dinosaur? You know what? Yeah. Let's, just, <laughs> let's just own up to what I had open. <laughs> Chen. Yep. You see the commotion of the hunt in one direction. Oh, and I, actually, what? Which way should I move this on stream? Can you guys uh, tell me? Because I'm left, but I don't know. It's if pretty centered right now. Or... <laughs> Let's try left. It? <laughs> oh dear. Okay, yeah. Oh no, you're going the wrong way. You got its ass in frame. Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, here, wait. if oh. you see the people. Yes. Perfect. And if I go back the other way. There we go. Wait, is that what we see? Uh, this is what Shen what sees I in see. the other <laughs> direction. Um, so where the hunt is. Oh, no. no, no, no. So away from the hunt towards the direction that you guys were going. Uh, and so if we look at the map, is I'll just try thing? and make this a little bit more clear. You guys headed northeast. No, northwest out of the village. Right up towards the continent, up towards the end of the territory of man. Um, this dinosaur is kind of like up towards the coast more. And the hunt has gone towards the kind of like bottom area. Like okay. they've gone southwest while you guys have gone northeast. Does that make sense? Okay. Like I said, the angle, you split, and now you've gone kind of like in these two different directions. Wow. We're really splitting. And that's where I presume Zoo has gone. Well, I mean, the tracks end there, so I don't know. But there is something large moving away from us. Uh, you see, I think, like, there's like a break in the trees, and you see this huge carnivore kind of like look up out of the break 
and it makes eye contact with you. It like turns its head immediately just down. <laughs> like, Boom. Uh, you get back <laughs> down to the trees. You can't hear this thing. Like it, it's fairly far from you. Um, you think like it, it would take it a little bit to get to you. It's not like it's going to be like right upon you or anything like that. Guys, there's a huge dinosaur that way that doesn't look very friendly. We need to get out of here. Another dinosaur? I thought they killed them all. Not this one. What about Zoo? <sighs> Zoo's tracks. Have we found Zoo's end here? Like, Is... We haven't picked up anything. Uh, you haven't picked up anything. I'm going to roll uh, for Ananto. Has Jolo been able to pick up a scent? No, and I think that you guys would start to think like something weird is happening. You and it's like it's strange that you're not seeing any tracks. It's strange that there's no scent down here. But I know there was a fight. Yeah, you see, there's like a there's a bit of a a scuffle. Um. Oh, I think you did really well on your roll, right? Yes, sir. Um, so you food. like the squished mushroom and stuff. Um, I think that Sue is not heavy enough to have squished that mushroom. Okay, it's, it's that big. It, it was a big mushroom, like they're like they're as big as a bush, right? It's like almost as big as a person. And this mushroom was kind of like stepped on and squashed. That's... So it, I think that you would know that that giant thing. That's like Baba is heavy enough to have squished it. Baba is. Oh. Baba is. I guess I don't notice that. Guys, if you haven't found anything about Zoo just yet. I'm like, look at CJ's face. I'm like, did you figure it out? (laughs) (laughs) Well, I don't think Jet knows any of this, right? Uh, Anant- Ananta have rolled really well. Um, she got an 11 on her investigative search. Um, so she's going to give you a bit of a tidbit of advice. CJ, did you did you figure it out? I don't, you... th- I don't think I did. I don't trust <laughs> myself to think I did. Say, say it out loud, because Ananta is about to give you some critical info. Have we just been following Baba's tracks the whole time? Maybe. Uh, that's not it. Okay. Um, that's a good one. I is Baba the dinosaur? Um, is Baba a dinosaur? Is that what's happening? Baba's a dinosaur. No, Baba is you. Um, oh my god, that's another Wait, joke for you nerdy games. That. That <laughs> I just lost two viewers. <laughs> um, Ananta kind of like floats down from like darting around and like looking, um, and she says, "Hey, I." I think we missed something. Look up. I was just up, but I'll look up. Into the trees, not past them. Uh, And Uh, as you look, and she starts to kind of point it out, there are marks in the trees from Baba's grappling hook. If you remember last week... Everyone had grappling hooks. Everyone had grappling hooks. Baba was sneaking around, and he must have set some sort of an ambush... Dang it. <laughs> Start bringing up Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately. Um, but yeah, so now you guys like spot this and it leads away from here towards where you saw the carnivorous terrible lizard. Oh. So we might have brought Zoo there. Are we boned? <laughs> it is the age. We're like deboned in a freaking second or two. <laughs> Got to be deboned. All right. Boneless. Guys, we got the avatar on our side, okay? Boom. <gasps> the avatar doesn't know anything about bending right is now. That the skeleton deboned. But, sorry, it's all just clicking now. 
but it has nothing to do with this. Look. I climb the tree. You climb a tree. You I'm going to follow the grappling hooks. I'm going to climb the tree and Naruto jump from branch to branch. Uh, amazing. Give me a rely on your skills and training. on the ground. <laughs> Can I can I get up on Jolo? Would you let me do that, Rufu, with you? Of course. It's more about would Jolo let you, and I think he would. <laughs> okay. He gives you a weird look. Focus. Okay. Let me roll a focus. Plus one. I got an eight. So you jump from tree to tree, um, kind of like in the direction that Baba's going. I think Cloney, you you encounter some difficulty doing this, and that the direction that Baba was going, because of the extra range of the grappling hook, it means you can reach trees that would otherwise be out of reach. So I think that sure. on an eight, like you might have to like take little detours to like keep up in the trees. Um, so if you like, you would trail behind everyone. Octopus arms. Do you water bend then to? Uh... Oh. I don't know if she would know to do that because in the the swamp, I don't think that would ever be a need. Or call vines to you. Yeah. Well, I think swamp bending you're familiar with uh, moving plants. Yeah. So yeah, if there are if there are are there vines in a forest. Are we Tarzan up in the air? Uh, it's not like a jungly. It's like, think like medieval European forest. <sighs> like dark medieval European forest. That's the vibe. Um, whereas like the Haybai forest is more of like a swampy, jungly kind of place. You can probably still move smaller branches like more towards you. I guess. Yeah, like, I mean, if she can, I mean, like, and if there's multiple trees. layers, then the ones in the middle or bottom layer would probably have like dew on them still, because this is early morning. We just we just embarked after dawn. Yeah, uh, I, there's water in the environment for sure. Like, you can pull water out of stuff. You could kill plants if you wanted. Um, but I think that there's like. If you started trying to move branches, like you probably are going to snap one. Like maybe like you don't even fall kind of thing. It's like you kind of like reach out, go to move one, and the branch snaps. It snaps, yeah. Yeah. She'll follow for a while if she can without bending. And then if it becomes like she'll see that it's too much effort, it's more effort than it's worth. But she'll, um, She'll climb down and then start keeping a better eye on the on the above. Actually, before I say that, can she see the grappling hook marks clearly here and like at a distance? They're they're hard to make out. They're not super obvious. Uh yeah, so in that case. Yeah, but you do have Ananta with you. Um so every once in a while she can like kind of like jump up and check. Yeah, so Kalani will descend. I don't think she's going to try and bend the whole forest to her will. Um, but I am going to start trying to have Kalani pull water out of um, like if there's crushed plants and stuff, she's just going to absolutely like that's her water now. Sure. So you keep out, or you keep one eye open, I should say. Is, is Bobo out or is Bobo in? Um, I don't think she's brought him back in. So Bobo is kind of like hanging out with you on your shoulder as you do this, and you kind of take a little bit of water from, you know, plants that have naturally been crushed by other animals or people, uh, you guys, as you pass through. Um, and so you, you can have a little bit of water kind of like, on you is there something like you're doing with this or like like how long are you going to be carrying this water because it is like you have to like constantly kind of be moving it around concentration yeah um 
actually, uh, before we ran in, she prepared ice claws. So she could just reinforce and continue to add to the ice claws. Uh, sure. Um, I'm going to say you can't have your ice claws out forever because your hands will start to get cold from the ice. Uh, waterbenders are not immune to freezing. No. Um, so it's like, I think that like, probably like your hands, like getting a little numb by this point, but you still have them out. You're able to like reinforce them. Like they haven't melted off or anything like. Um, Unless you're yeah, doing so this because you want to be like swinging from your ice claws. No, I don't think that would be a viable thing. That'd be no. But like she can add to the ice claws, and then if her hands get cold, she can just remove the ice claws, and then you know let her hands return to temperature and repeat. And then put them back. Yeah. Uh, sure. So every once in a while, I think like you guys see Colony like collect some water, and then like kind of like drop the water and like warm up her hands. <laughs> uh, and as you guys make your way forward. Um, I think at this point, we're going to transition from the like traversal scene into a little bit of like, you have to like travel through the wilderness for a while. Um, I think, Shen, with you spotting the predator, it's like you kind of know what area it was in. You avoid that kind of direct path. Um, at one point, you guys can hear the boom, boom, boom. Um, as it walks like through the forest, like some ways away. Um, and there's like birds and stuff that like fly over you um, away from it. But so it's like you kind of know where its location is and you can kind of avoid it uh, and keep on going. So we're going to do it like this. I'm going to roll some dice. You guys are going to want. Oh, no. A miss. <laughs> That's an Bad eight. jujus. Bad jujus. An eight. That's an eight. 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 Oh. Is, that, um, is that good? As you guys go forward. It's 10 plus, right? 10 plus? Ten, <laughs> to 10 well. <laughs> That's an absolute success, which did <gasps> not happen for me, unfortunately. Oh, okay, okay. Um, as you guys make your way forward, there's a kind of like section of the forest that's eerily quiet and as you keep walking it seems like sound starts to like get absorbed and there's like a bunch of like dead leaves covering the ground here for a little bit uh, it's a little bit darker than normal um and i think that you know you guys are glancing up every so often to look for these marks that are you know that the grappling hook was leaving um there are no more marks that you can see but there are webs Do they look like, like you know, synthetic webs or like, like natural occurring webs? It looks like some big ass fucking spider webs, dude. <laughs> big ones, okay. Uh, at first they're small. Uh, I like you wouldn't have noticed, but like by the time it gets quiet and you look up, it's like there's some bigger ones like up in the in like the treetops. And as you make your way a little bit more Spons. forward, now there's like. There's webs like kind of all over the place, and they're they're getting lower and lower to the ground as you go. Run. I'm gonna see if uh, Zoo would answer and be like, Zoo, Zoo. And see if like, <gasps> like Patty, she's like, no, don't like, don't don't call out. What if they, whatever is making the webs comes? Well, if we don't yeah, find them, we're gonna go deeper. Go both. Turn around to look at them as one. Like, what the? Hell? <laughs> <laughs> First rule of the desert: don't make sound unless you're big and scary. Um, so I think, like, Jolo gives you a look, Rufu. Like, do we make? Do we make some noise? Like, we've made some noise. I don't think we should make any noise. It looks creepy. <laughs> Rufu is out of his element. Where's the sand? He accepts your your decision. 
you guys go forward you start to hear like a you can't see anything but you hear it and it's like it's coming from all around you in these trees have we lost the claw uh, trail there's no more claw trail like an Anante can't go up and check uh, because the, like, the, webs. the webs are too thick now. Can I make a water sphere shield or something of the sort with the additional water that I have as opposed to switching from ice claws make the shield? Uh, so you want to have ice claws and a spear and a shield? What? No, 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 no. What? Disengage ice claws. Engage sh sphere shield. Okay, so keep track of your resources that you're doing this stuff. Oh, does it cost uh, you fatigue to have the ice claws up? I did. I already I added that at the when I, we were in town. Okay, every time you would have recast yeah, it. You oh, what the heck? Marking, you would have been marking fatigue. Yeah. Oh, that that. Technique. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Never mind. She was a weakling. Weak bitch. <laughs> okay, so I think like you're you're like you're like you concentrate for a while on these claws, then as you realize it's gonna be like a journey, you let it go, uh, and you don't recast it. Is that chill? Yeah, please. Thank you. I appreciate the uh correction to my understanding. I'm sorry, um, I also didn't know this was gonna be a journey. <laughs> into I... this part of the woods. Oh, it's about about the death of the That scares me. I'm not a jerk. Um, so you had the... Have... Sorry. Well, just because at this point, he needed to have a way out from where he le like last left his claw marks. He didn't just disappear. Maybe we went too far. Unless they freaking shoot him. Maybe we should just t t turn around. I, I don't... Seeing how Bubba's okay. the leader of the village, I feel like he has enough experience to avoid these places. Supposed to be hunting ostrich turtles. Well, now we're hunting zoo. Uh, we're about to be hunted by giant spiders! <laughs> you hear the sounds again. Oh, they're coming. Start like bringing up like little like pieces of earth, maybe ready to throw. <laughs> you start to make like a, a little like encampment <laughs> where you are. Um, Only just a little like hole to hide in. So what? And that's like kind of like what? What do we do? Do we go back? Do we or do we go forwards? Shen, you had his track. Look, there were no more tracks. Since back there, we started following the the grappling claw marks. If those stopped as well, we would need to find something else. But having gone further than those, I don't think we're helping each other. Obvious. We, we'd have to go back and see if we could find anything from there on. Let's go back. Do we still hear? Is it like constant? Like... <sighs> From around us or does it pop up i think whenever you start making like some noise you hear it more and then it seems to like be receding in another direction um sue mm. you wake up i wake up you wake up what does that mean <laughs> <gasps> what does this breathe mean? as you breathe web in your <gasps> mouth Am I, am I am I like completely tied up? Uh, you're not completely oh. tied up. It seems like you've been left in a web. Oh, so like I'm like stuck in a web. That's what it looks like. Um, okay, I'm gonna. I mean, I wiggle a little bit at first, uh, 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 and then I just wiggle. like. Vroom, vroom, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, if I don't, looking like, around, 
Yeah. You're in the trees, you're facing like down and you realize that there's like a, a gap in the web where your head is like you're looking at the ground and you're lying on this web oh no how far is the ground uh it's good like 30 feet down um okay i am going to try and um in my panic uh, rip my arms out and ho hope that helps me in some way but uh, right. it's probably not. Rely on your skills and training. Oh, yeah. Zoo, 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 <laughs> Just start, zoo. like, using all my muscles to uh, rip my arms off. Uh, don't forget, Out as you re-enter this scene, um, your balance now no longer is at pushed center over. zero. Oh. It's at center plus one. Yep. Yep, yep. I pushed it. I pushed it over. And I don't I don't know how I feel about it, but anyways. Um rely on my skills and training focus that's a miss as Six. you rip at the webs i think that you realize that there's not a, a safe way to do this okay so if you want to kind of just like wrench yourself free you can but you'll fall right um well, if I notice this before I actually just straight up fall, uh, I'm going to stop a little bit of panic setting in. The, the 30 feet is pretty high up. Um, and uh, I'm going to stop for a little bit, wait until like the, the web stops like bouncing around a little bit. And then I'll try and like look around, but I'm looking for Baba. Like I'm trying to see like what's going on. Like how did I end up in this situation? Uh, I think it's quiet. Mm -hmm. And you're you're not, you're not really making any noise, um, but I think like because it's so quiet, you start to hear the faint like. Anyone there? Jet? Shen? Kalodi? Rufu? It starts to get louder. Um, <laughs> no shit. Everybody else, you're gonna roll me uh rely on your skills and training. Do you hear? There's my coach though. Ooh. So good, baby. Uh Sue. It's a twelve, not a natty. Focus? <laughs> Only a seven. seven. Yeah. Two sevens and a twelve. Um <laughs> that's a lot. That's that's plenty. Um but so you you see no sign of Baba, you see no sign of your friends. Okay. The rest of you hear the scuttling start to go faster in one direction, and I think that on a twelve, you hear like a. Anyone? And it's towards where they're scuttling. Yeah. As far you as heard, you can tell. You guys that? Uh, I think only Joe uh, no. Rufu hears that. What? It's cuddling. He's this way. Let's go. Okay. Come on, Joe. Into the woods. Uh, hang on. Into the web. Me. He's a little Follow reluctant Rufu. as he like goes. You go deeper into the heart of the spider territory. Oh, um, Sue. The yeah. scuttling is all around you now. Oh, okay. I start to you struggle don't, again. <laughs> you don't see anything, though. Okay. Uh, 30 feet's not that high. Ah, you just start screaming and shaking. <laughs> screaming, shaking. You're turning your head. You can't, like, turn more than this. And you can't. There's nothing in your field of vision. You wrench yourself free. And as you fall, you turn. You see poised above you and descending this giant kind of like arachnid body full of fur uh <laughs> and it has like these gaping jaws with mandibles kind of coming out uh it has eight eyes but instead of being like those spider like pairs of eyes like that like on the front they like go over the sides uh mm. and there's two or there's i think four tufted ears uh it's a wolf spider um <laughs> at the end of each of the arachnid legs um you have like a paw like with a bunch of like claws that are like kind of coming out but no howling silent except for the skittering of the claws on bark um 
and I think as you fall and your vision like gets further <laughs> from that one, you see there were other ones kind of like coming down the trees. Um, there's like this one like big hell? fatty and a bunch of small ones. Yeah. Um, I just screamed the way down. Yeah. yeah. Um. You, <laughs> all of you hear a scream this time, not just someone like, like, hello, like who was just like talking and not yelling. Um, At that point, can I use my bending to get there quicker? Uh, yeah, you start sprinting, <laughs> trying Catapult. to get there as quickly as possible. That's it. Earth bending uh, go, to go faster. Yeah, the earthbenders <laughs> propel themselves. Colony, do you do anything to try and get there? Yeah, the first time I see them, I'm going to try and water jet myself over. <laughs> yeah, you grab some of that excess water you've been having and like throw it, propel yourself forward. Uh, Ananta is doing the same thing, jumping off of trees. Um, and all of you arrive as Sue hits the floor. Sue, you're going to take uh, a fatigue uh, to start off this fight. Oh, my back! Uh, and as you kind of like get that pain, I think that you also take the insecure condition if it's not marked already. Oof. Okay. Insecure. <laughs> um, and because I think that as like the pain of falling on your back like really hits you, you realize that Baba got you. <sighs> All right. Your All right, old man still got a drink or two up his sleeve. <laughs> that's going to be an exchange, and we're going to get into a, a little bit of a battle. Let's fucking go. How many wolf <laughs> fighters are we looking at? I thought we were going to have to fight hunters, honestly. I thought they were all going to gang up on us. Yeah. I guess it could still happen. Which is worse? Oh, we know these could be the hunters. Hunters, maybe we could like reason. The hunters are the wolf spiders? But the wolf spiders. What if they all transmog into fucking wolf spiders? They, oh, wow. Yo. That's a new type of bending? No, <laughs> there's spirit, spirit In, touched something or another. So it's just. There's like were werewolves, but werewolf spiders in the oh. Avatar Dino world? There it is. Maybe. Werewolf spiders. That's horrifying. Mom, what do you want to be? What do you want me to be when I grow up? A werewolf? Spider. What's a werewolf spider? It's a were. You tell us. These wolf things spider. are. So you're saying that if this bites you, do you become a wolf <laughs> spider? That's exactly it. That's how that works. Don't give him ideas, please. Yeah. <laughs> Does anyone want to be a werewolf spider? No! I mean, but only eight nights a month. Only eight. <laughs> Why so specific? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. A month? Leg? That's a lot. So instead of that once a month from the moon? You grow one leg a night. Is that the actual cycle? Oh, you'd be so unbalanced. Yeah, so you grow one leg a night for eight nights, and then the last night you're fine. Twice a week, baby. Every other night you'd be okay, but you'd have even legs. <laughs> Every other night. <laughs> Uh, whoops. My mouse. I don't want to block it. It's like D&D. &D. Tuesdays and Thursdays, you're a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm locked oh, in. Boy. Is everyone else locked me, in? Uh, oh, no. no. <laughs> the <combat>? Jesus. <laughs> the, the combat doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't I'm lying on the floor. Again. Um, I've chosen oh. what I want, but... Can't lock it in. Yeah, it doesn't work anymore for some reason. I have the combat open. Oh no, it's working. Oh, okay, no, I, I, I reopened it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, That's refresh. I'll refresh. Spoken into existence. Uh, I'm not seeing what you guys are seeing. What are you seeing? I'm gonna. I think I'm just gonna admit that. I think maybe I've been doing it wrong. I had to click initiate, which opened up a dialog box within the the place where I do it. And then I have to reinitiate, and then you guys can do it. All right, is everyone locked in? Uh, I am locked no. in. Shy, yeah. you have to click on the Yo, little on. Oh. combat oh. button I shouldn't have done that. at the bottom right oh, of like the stats oh. sheet and everything. I see. And then it should. Be... Oh, it's asking me to do it again. So. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. 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 I'm fine. This is fine. Um. 
There we go. Now I can do it. All right, cool. Okay, wait a second. Where's my original thing? Did mine lock in? I, I see one tends to is locked in his combat approach. Nice. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh... Ready? Oh, I'm so scared. Okay, hold on. We're fine. Everything's fine. I'm not worried at all. We're not worried. Okay. Uh, you take an approach? Yeah, I know. That's what I'm worried about. Okay, whatever. Fine. I'm doing it. I don't care. Lock in. Strategy gets blown to the wind. I'm an air. I'm a waterbender. Right. I'm an airbender. We are resolving. One ton Sue. Defend and maneuver. You're first. I seize a position amongst my friends. I scuttle up to my feet. I like kind of trip over myself a couple times and then I just sort of like <laughs> start well, running over. Roll while you're tripping yeah, oh, over you're yourself. Absolutely right. Focus. You can't uh, just tell me that you do. Success with consequences. I like to describe what I do before I roll. <laughs> I, this the, that's what, what I'm used to. to. Yeah. <laughs> I got an eight, which is uh, success with with fail, with, uh, with semi success. Yeah. Semi success. Um, you can pick one technique, so you pick seize a position. Uh, yes. Yeah, perfect. Um, so you seize that position, move to a new location. Uh, you get out from directly under all of the spiders as they descend uh, on their prey. Um, you're slightly safer among your friends. Nice. <gasps> hey, guys. Ugh, I'm, like, still pulling webs off my face and stuff. Rufo and Jolo, you're next. Yes, I'm going to create my uh, uh, glass, uh, my sand glass disc as uh, my defend and maneuver. So I create a float, floating spinning disc of glass out of sand and fine gravel, and it can cut through trees, brush, and heavy vines. So I get to mark of fatigue, I become favored, and I can use it to attack, and I can destroy organic parts of the scenery as though I had used the smash technique at no additional cost. So at the end of the exchange, to keep it active, I need to mark another uh, uh, fatigue. Um, okay, so the, so what you're doing just summons it in the first place? Yes, I think right now it just summons it. I think that's all I can do. With it. So right, perfect. practice technique, basic? Massage? Um, it is basic. No, no, sorry, it is practice. Um, all right, so you spin up this kind of like glass disc. Uh, Jolo underneath you like gets ready to charge with you. Um, then we move on over to the advance and attack crowd. Um, is that correct? Every, everybody else chose evade and observe? Yeah, I did. All right, perfect. Uh, then it's the wolf spider brood. Um, the wolf spider brood is going to kind of like come down, see everyone all grouped up, um, and swarm you guys. It's going to attack. Rufu, uh, as you like spin up the disc, uh, a couple of them are going to come on over. Um, sorry, I have too many screens open, so it's taking me a second. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, amazing. So they're going to mark a fatigue. And they're going to hit you. Uh oh. Oh. Oh wow. Uh oh. I don't like that. What are we looking at? <laughs> what they can do. Wow. Uh We're all yes. Dead. Um so the spiders like come up to you and essentially like the like these clawed like hands at the end of them that kind of like look like furry paws at the end of the, the spiders. They like what? they look kind of cute almost, uh until they're like clawing at you and biting at you um 
the claws as they pierce your flesh are envenomed and your left arm goes limp. So you can pick one fewer okay. uh, techniques next exchange. Um, Damn. Oh yeah, so for the next three exchanges, you can pick one fewer techniques or until combat ends, whichever is first. Uh, but I'm favored, so I, I like as of after this technique. Now that I'm favored, I get to pick another basic technique, so it kind of cancels that out for three turns. Is that is that what I'm? Is that what uh, I'm favored, saying? you use once, I believe, right? You just activated. Oh favorite. yes, it's only for the next exchange. Yeah, it's only for the next exchange. So, exactly. Okay. So in this case, uh. I take any fatigue from this or like any sort of damage? Uh, there's no damage, but you take a condition. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I yeah, will good. be angry again. Back to angry. I'm afraid, angry, and insecure. Me. Oh wait, when you defend and maneuver, do you you regain some fatigue, yes? That's evade and observe. That's evade and observe. Good to know. For all you at home and not me because I've been playing this for months. <laughs> and I already knew all of this. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to take 100%. some really quick notes. Uh, that I have a lot going on here. Um, bah, bah, bah. So after the the wolf spider brood is the mother wolf spider. Um, the mother wolf spider uh, is going to attack Coloni. That's weird. That's pretty weird. Uh, so it's going to come towards you. This one's quite a bit bigger than the other ones. It's big, it's way bigger than a person. Um, and it's going to attempt to target your ability to fight. Um, that's a hit. Uh, nice. So you see that it takes with great effort the mother wolf spider uh, marks fatigue. Uh, can you name me your advance and attack options? And... Uh... My basic ones, or my my specialty fighting and technique ones. Uh, all of them. Okay, so I have no specialty ones, but my basics are strike, pressure, and smash. Pressure and smash. You cannot use pressure and smash for the remainder of this encounter. What? Uh, she fucking. Okay, we got to run. <laughs> the web kind of like bind your clothing and armor to get, or like you know, clothing and arms and stuff together, and it's like you just have trouble. Like every time you want to like. You know, start getting into a position where you could, like, you know, pressure and smash. Uh, you find that you're unable to do so. Not the champ. Oh that's, wait, that's so upsetting. Well, hold on, that is that that's a basic technique, though, right? They're both they're both basics. Oh, they're both basics. Yeah, I have no specialty fighting techniques that are that are uh, advanced in attack. I have evade and observe, and defend and maneuver. Shit. Okay. No, this is only advanced, advanced oh. in attack. Oh, I think that. Happened. I mean, darn. <laughs> uh, so it goes no, to no, do no, this. And instead, it doesn't. It fires like a, a shot with its web, uh, and there's like some sort of like a like a rock or something in the web. It's like it's like picked it up with its like spinneret and shot it at you. Um, Rocky web shot. That's rude. So you suffer one fatigue. Um, and the wolf spider whoosh, moves up into the treetops. Thank you. How far up? Uh, it is a kind of like medium distance away. You'd have to like take a new position to go after it. Mm -hmm. uh, alrighty, and that's the spider's turn. Uh, Shen, you're the first to evade and observe. Okay. Well, I was going to go for the mother wolf spider, but now 
she's apparently gone. So we can't do that anymore. Uh, how many of the small ones are there? Uh, there's there's like a swarm of them, uh, is what I'm gonna say. So yeah, I think like there's like there's quite a few. Okay, and how big are they? Uh, like the size of like big dogs, probably. Lovely. All right. Um, I mean, I was okay. So I was gonna, I'm just gonna use what. Um, well, I'm going to try and use metal bindings because uh, for combat, it still says I have to roll to see if I can use a practice technique or not. So that is a 10. So I can use one practice technique. And that will be uh, metal bindings. So I can catch an enemy's limbs in metal and they become impaired and cannot remove the status unless they are able to metal bend or the fight ends. Ooh, Ooh. sick. While they are impaired and you are engaged with them, you are favored. All right, you impair the swarm. And they, they can't do anything to block this, right? Uh, well, the thing is, that if my role is a success, that's that happens. It's like any exchange is that you can't block the fatigue, you can't block the condition that it comes to you. It just it happens if the role is a success. But the impaired for an NPC is you choose one fewer technique, I guess, in your turn. So they they can still do stuff. They can use more than one technique a turn. It's just. Alrighty. They have one fewer they can use each time. And they have one fewer technique as you send out... Uh, where do you get the metal from as you do this? I have chain, actually. Uh, yeah, so then you... It's like a chain chain like link kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah, so then I guess it like flies out and I think the chain would just like fully open up and then you kind of like put like a bunch of their legs together all over the place. Basically, yeah. Um, yeah, so there, there, there's a bunch of impaired type of spiders around here, uh, and I'll mark that on their sheet. Uh, next is going to be Jet. Ooh. Uh, Jet. <laughs> Jet is going to, like, well, I don't know how far you are right now, Zoo, but I'm just going to, like, yell out to you, like, I'm I with got you guys. your back! Okay, I'm like, well, you I'm got with your you, back. Dude. I'm, I'm <laughs> on top of, uh, uh Dolo. Um, and I'm just going to, like, <sighs> Concentrate on the earth around you, and whatever you're gonna try and do, I'm gonna like, either like you know push you forward or like push anyone back who you're trying to, to hit up against or like provide you some earth if I see you're about to like bend. Uh, so I want to try and bolster you, uh, uh, and give you the empowered status if I can or prepared, whatever the DM will judge. But I gotta roll. Ooh, that's 11 on the die. Plus, I don't think I have a minus for creativity or harmony. No, I got plus two. Uh, so 13. All right. I mean, that's uh, that's two basic or master techniques. So what do you choose? Very sick. Uh, so I'll definitely choose bolster if you will let me empower him. Uh, and... I will mark one fatigue to test the balance of an engaged foe uh, because I don't want to use commit. Wait, can, can I just use one? Because I don't really want to mark one fatigue, but I also don't want to shift my balance. By evading and observing, you clear one fatigue, so it's essentially null. Ooh, okay. Okay, then I'll, I'll test balance then. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to test a wolf spider's balance. Uh, maybe I'll just like I'll start like pummeling a few of them with like rocks and see how committed they are to the to the fight, or if they're like kind of like easily scared off, or just like pfft, kind of like a dirt like storm. Uh, interesting. So so it reveals their principle to you. Is that it? 
uh, ask what their principle is. They must an answer honestly. So yeah, so the, yeah. From their actions, I think hunger is driving these things. Um, so maybe they're not in a fight to the death, right? Okay. Uh, in terms of. The status for Sue. I think you wanted to give the empowered status. Yeah. Uh, let me just double check that that's not OP. It's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty OP. <laughs> give it to me. <laughs> uh, it's pretty good. I I'll give it to you in this moment where you're sitting back uh, and you're kind of like throwing Sue forward. I'm gonna say it lasts like one. So like I one have to keep doing it. Pretty much, yeah. if I want it to keep happening. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, because it's not an event. It's not an event that keeps happening. It's like you're putting the effort into making him empowered every time. Awesome. I got you, man. Yeah. Um, does this take effect at the end of this exchange or the next one? Uh, at the end of this exchange. So next exchange will be empowered. Gotcha. So next exchange. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I understood. I, understood. <laughs> I totally did. I answered that with a non-answer. Um, <laughs> Coloni, you're last but not least. What are you doing? Uh, I just kind of went for it. Um, Everyone can see the wolf spiders, right? Where? I can now. I wish I couldn't, but I can. Where? Oh, That's nope. Sure. Uh, I should not have clicked in. Should not have clicked in. <laughs> that was a quick oh, on man. the fly one, but. Uh, okay, I am going to. I really didn't know what I was doing here. It's fine, though. I am going to bolster, hinder, and just try to hinder the wolf spiders around me and it did, because they're already restrained by shen right uh they're impaired yeah there's no restraint i don't think in... uh there's like doomed and stuff yeah well the, yeah oh. but there's no restraint they're trapped yeah. you can trap them I will, yeah, I will impede them by, I will freeze their tiny little spider legs with water. Uh, so you're going to further try and, and hinder these things? Yeah, because right now they're... Impaired. Wait, impaired. Slowed or off balance. Yeah, so I'm going to see if I can just trap those so they can't move at all. Okay, yeah, inflicted appropriate status. I'd say that since they're already impaired, uh, you trap them. Well, did you you rolled your dice? Did you hit? Okay. You're right. Let me roll with harmony. I'm so busy reading. Roll, please, harmony. Don't do me dirty. Thirteen didn't do me dirty. Nick picking you. You can pick two. You can pick two. Two mastered and two basic, or or two basic. Sorry, or mix and match. Uh, definitely going to stick with that, what I just said. Um, and I think I'm already in center, so I don't need to worry about that. Yeah, I want to stay in center, so let's not do it. Smart, mm. smart. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, can I just do two impairments? Or like uh, two different to make uh, bits uh, I guess I'll test the balance of the enraged mother wolf spider when she comes up I mark a fatigue to do that uh, you cannot test the balance of the mother spider because she has moved to the treetops or into the trees alright I don't want to have to use my technique because they take my fatigue away and i don't want to do that you don't have to use the second technique I'll, I'll, i'm going to just hold and, and trap them sure um so you trap them 
Uh, so describe to me what exactly you do to make sure that they're like they're trapped now and they can't get out. Um, let me just check the status. We're in a dark, deep, damp forest, and Shen has already like metal bended them into submission, essentially. So, with the water that she has taken from the forest and the water that's probably present in the plant life underneath them or around them, just literally just take what's necessary to encase their spider legs with like, I don't know, a couple inches of frozen ice and a, a thin platform underneath them so they can't move. Um, and just have little spots of ice popping up. All right, you guys no see this sun. dazzling display of ice kind of shoot out from Colony, um, directing the ice to kind of like cover the floor, free like flash freeze their legs in place uh, with the metal already impairing them. Um, yeah, these things seem pretty, I think, like dazed at this point like you've hit them really hard you've like hurt them um so they're kind of like hobbling like barely able to move um the mother spider though seems like it's still ready to take part in an exchange so i think we'll dive into a second exchange right away uh just gonna cut you off we just got raided by galaxy fist <gasps> uh, galaxy welcome fist. raiders to the hexagon ttrpg we're a collective welcome, of, Canadian and American. One one of us is American. Uh, DMs. We stream Avatar every Tuesday and a grab bag of TTRPGs on Thursdays. So please follow if you want to miss. If you don't want to miss any of that. Uh, sorry, Brent. No, that was a perfect place to cut off for a moment. Um, but yeah, you guys kind of suck it in a deep breath of air. The spider comes back. We're going into another exchange. Um, so the wolf spider is coming for you guys from above as her brood is kind of like all around you, impaired and trapped in ice and metal from the vendors. Um, everybody, I'm going to need you to lock in your combat approach. Um, mm -hmm. And we're going to see. I think uh, you all see the spider coming at you. I think you all know as players this is going to be an advancing attack. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to scream out like, guys, they're just they're just hungry. I know they're scary, but they're 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 babies or kids. They're they're hungry. I'm not trying to be dinner. Okay, I got your back. Me neither. Uh, oh, I'm staying pretty quiet. All right, you guys all ready? Oh, I'm locked in. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Three. Two, one. Uh, lock in. Lock in. Oh shit! Sorry. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Missed the button. <laughs> uh, well, I already pressed it, so I can't see what you other people did. Uh, five. Yeah. Can I just say it? Yeah. Say advance it. Advance and attack. Advance and attack. Yeah. Also advance and attack. Yeah. Also that. Also advance and attack. Me attacking. Uh, attacking. Chen defend and maneuver, and Jet yep. defend and maneuver. Um. So Shen and Jet, you guys are first. Uh, for me, I was just going to uh, retaliate. So, steal yourself for their blows. Each time a foe inflicts fatigue, condition, or shifts balance in this exchange, inflict one fatigue on that foe. So, I'm going to roll right. and see if I can uh, do that. And that's a seven. So, it should still be able to do a basic technique of retaliate. All right, perfect. So, you have retaliate up. You're ready to give as well as you take jet. Uh, Jet is really unsure, so he's just going to, uh, oh, I don't have any conditions, oh, for the first time. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm going to seize a new position and go after the mother spider cautiously. All right, go ahead and roll. <sighs> I'm coming, mama. Uh, that is another 11 on the die. Ah. Guys, I switched die. I was rolling so bad. I switched them and I rolled two 11s in a row. So if you're wrong, uh, it sounds something. weighted. It sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, that is a negative exactly one, 11. so it's a 10. <laughs> you, you still get to pick two basic or master techniques. Um, so it's definitely sees a position. Do you, do you want to do a second technique or no? 
Steal yourself for their blows. Uh, yeah, I will retaliate. Uh, okay. So, yeah, I'm just, like, getting ready. I got. Could I have, like, pulled up some earth with me, like, just in my, like, fists to, like, bend if I need to? Yeah, well, I'll, I'll say, like, you can have two kind of, like, earth fists ready to go to, like, retaliate as, as blows come in. Uh, Shen, what does your retaliation look like? Um, so, in this case, I'm going to kind of just, like... Um kind of stamp up two rocks and kind of have them swirling around me for if anything like happens to get me i'm just gonna like launch one out perfect so you got these orbiting boulders um but after the two of you defend and maneuver was chosen by the wolf spider brood uh and they are going to break out of the trapped condition so that means they have to mark uh, up to three fatigue and or conditions uh so they do so and they are going to hobble away. Uh, the brood spiderlings kind of like hurt, um, given a few conditions. Um, you can see that they're like fearful at this point. Uh, they're going to try and escape from here in kind of a few directions uh, and not go after anybody. Interesting. Sorry, I forgot to roll for seize a position. Uh, they make it. Uh, after them, though, we have the advance and attackers. Um, so attackers, there's one less combatant on the field. The swarm has departed. There's only the the wolf spider kind of mama. Um, hmm. That big, ugly spider up in the tree. What are you doing? Is she close enough to, to engage with? She is not close enough to engage with, like, directly. Okay. <clears throat> So you'd have to uh, do something. Can I take down the tree with my with my glass disc? I'm taking advance of attack. I want to just strike at the tree that she's in or the surrounding trees because it, it says that I can cut through organic material when I attack with it. Sure. So you want to use the, the I strike. I have already taken the extra fatigue. Right. Roll for advance and attack, yeah. and uh, you can take strike. That is, uh, what am I rolling with when we're talking about Zoraya's attack? <laughs> I think it's okay, so that is... So that's an 8. That's an 8. That's a hit, which means you get to choose one technique. So you choose strike. Um, you strike at the tree. The tree doesn't have fatigue, guys. The tree goes down. Um, <laughs> and the spider kind of like tumbles. Yeah! Uh, with Jet, who was also in the tree. Uh-oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> Um, I'm going to say, Jed, so you don't bad, retaliate dude. against Rufu. You are going to take a fatigue from falling uh, out of the tree, uh, as is the brood mother, as the tree kind of like... I thought you were on my back. I thought you were on Jolo's back. I jumped so fast, you didn't see. Didn't see a thing. Uh, but now, wolf spider, brood mother, on the ground, my advancing attackers, who's next? Because the rest of you didn't freaking click the button, so I can't see anymore. <laughs> well, I'm a, I'm advancing and attacking. Is anyone else doing it too? I was also going to strike. Ah, you can go first. This um, is a deep thought. Okay, I'm going to roll with passion. Plus one passion, don't let me down. Okay, I got a seven. That's a hit. Uh, so I'm going to strike the, the mother, the dead mother. And they get two fatigue marking condition, so st stunned. Just fell from the tree, so. Oh, it's either, it's any of them, so sorry, hold on. Um. I'm going to stun her. Yeah, I'm going to stun her. That'll be my, my condition of my right. strike. Yeah, I'll say in this situation, the stun absolutely works. Uh, she's off guard. Uh, so you, what does your stun look like as you come up to the broodmother? I think she would just uh, do like a two, two handed like Hulk smash with some ice reinforcement. It's, oh, it's squash the spider, but she doesn't need the squash because she's large. Uh, but you give her a mighty blow to the, 
the spider skull, the exoskeleton of the head, uh, and the spider is stunned for this exchange, uh, which means that she won't be able to take her action after the PCs go, which was going to be an advanced Yo. attack. Um, so nice one, Coloni. Uh, but now it's Sue. Sue, there's a stunned spider in front of you. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Well, I'm going to roll before I say anything. Uh, <laughs> so I don't this. disappoint myself. <laughs> uh, I got a nine. So success with consequences, uh, which means I get to one basic or master technique. Okay. So, um, I have to ask though, Jet. How did you bolster me exactly? I guess Do I just that's have like, over now, like right? Earth? I thought it was that's at the end of the exchange. exchange. The end of this one. Okay. I, yeah. yeah I, I was. I guess I could still. I was like actively just like moving Earth around you to react to whatever you were doing. Okay. So yeah. Like, yeah. So know, it's like charged, like maybe it's like bended swirling, Earth. Like, that's like swirl. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just sort of standing there. I've got my head low, um, and. Uh, Zeus feeling kind of bad about himself right now. He's feeling all sorts of things, right? He's he's also very very upset. Um, so I think he's going as my master technique. I'm going to use my Earth Gauntlet, um, but instead of like forming it on my hand, I want like the bolstered version that where it's like all this like the shape of an Earth hand like forms up on my stomach and my chest, and I just like suck in my gut and then I like release it and shoot out the Earth Gauntlet at the spider. Like an Earth Care Bear. Exactly. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but no. but <laughs> as I release it, I yell at the top of my lungs. I go, Baba, come out, you coward! And I shoot out all the things. And uh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this shoots out. It becomes like a big belly fist. Uh, it hits the spider hard. How much damage does this do? So it's, um, I mark one f fatigue. I inflict one condition or two fatigue. Uh, I'm just going to do two fatigue. And I can also knock the foe out of reach and disengage. But they have to mark an additional fatigue to resist if they do that. Uh, so I'm going to uh, try and knock it out of reach. So I get to pick whether it's a condition yeah. or fatigue that gets marked. Oh, you do? Uh, in this case, it's going to be a condition, and the spider willingly just gets knocked into the forest. Okay. Um, I think that, like, you kind of see it, like, it gets hit, and it, like, starts to stop itself and then just flies off. Um, and then... Nice. Well, it was stunned, so I couldn't really do anything anyways. Yeah. Um, so I think that at this point, the exchange ends, and the spider kind of like gets up and runs uh, <laughs> after its broodlings. Uh, you knocked it out of the park, as they say. Yeah, I'm just there, like just freaking like steam coming out of my nose. Uh, and here you stand next to a fallen tree, your comrades around you. Rufu, you are, your arm that was like numb starts to feel a little bit better. Um, Jolo's there, kind of like proud. I think you don't want me to hit on this. Uh, I hit. Jolo yeah. roars like in pride, oh, like well, ah! yeah. <laughs> uh, the Velociraptor Triceratops marking his territory. Um, guys, I think oh it's no. okay to leave. <sighs> we got Zoo. Let's get out of here. Zoo. What? Go. Forget about Baba. I'm not forgetting no, about no, Baba. No, Joe, we... He's not here. We Let's go. get out of here first. All right. Someone else who's not here. Ananta. Ananta. Ananta wasn't here for the whole fight. What? Oh God! That's my girl. Where is right. she? Where? Can we assess? Don't sniff her out. Can we assess? How could we not have realized? Ananda! She's <laughs> quiet. She said. Oh, she... Forget about her all the time. Okay. Look around, friend. You, know, you can all you roll and assess the situation. Oh gosh. Um, oh, my God. Okay, there we go. Back to regular. Creativity. Uh, so. That's a 10 oh, for me. That's a huge too. miss, motherfucker. Six for me. Uh, nine. One nine? That's cocked. 
on a nine. What are we rolling with? Around focus, I believe, for assess. Okay, yeah. Also, one another question. Oh no, creativity. Sorry, assess the situation's creativity. Oh nine. Is nine still the highest? Or am I still waiting for something? I don't know. I got a ten. I had a four. Oh, yo. Um, all right. With a nine, I think that you notice some drag marks. And on a ten, ask me a question. One of the ones from the least. Yeah. But, uh, two seconds. I'm grabbing questions. Uh, okay. So what's my best way to find Ananta? The, the best way to find Ananta. I think that this is another like tracking expedition, but I think that the, I think the second part to answering that question is that this time, you know that Baba's probably leading you into a trap. Guys, we have to go after Bob's anyways. Still around. Oh shit, Bob's still around? He's watching us right now. Where? Can't, Where is he? I'm a devious. The drag marks lead over that way. Don't know much about you guys, but... Bob. Can't let her go on her own either. I'm going. And Chen will walk off. Yeah, uh... Yeah. We're all going, we're all going. This is... This is a mess. I stomp my way in that direction. <laughs> All right, you guys start making your way in that direction. The day starts to get a little bit longer. Lunchtime, kind of like noon comes around. You've been going for like an hour. Uh, you've been heading northward away from the village. Um, and it seems like whatever's dragging through the forest is continuing forwards. Okay. Another is hour. There, is there any indication God. of what is dragging her? I mean, you can't really tell, right? It's just like a drag. Like the drag mark green, comes probably. behind, so. Okay, but that's it. Like the drag mark is or wide Bob. enough to actually cover the tracks of whatever's dragging her. That's what. It, yeah. It appears like that. Okay. So this is probably not something bigger. I mean, other than human size, at least. It keeps going. Guys, keep a lookout for any of the grappling hook marks as well on the trees. Just in case. All right. You guys take a look. I think no role necessary. You don't really see anything. Um, mm. The forest at this point, I think, starts to change a little bit. And it was like, it was kind of dense and dark. The trees were tall, but now they become like gigantic. Now, like, it's like a sequoia type forest. It's like these huge pillars that hold up the sky and the sky is a leafy green. Um, it's a little bit brighter here in the forest as a result, um, but the dragged path kind of keeps on going. And it's fresh. You can, you can tell that it's fresh. I'm getting frustrated. How fast is this guy? God damn it. He knows what he's doing. He's, been doing this for don't give them that we... much credit all right so you guys are traveling at like a decent rate like do you want to try and go faster do you want to like sprint and catch up like what what is everyone feeling right like right uh, now? I thought we were rushing i thought yeah. we were 100 mm -hmm. continuously I'm rushing rush. yeah let's rush. Uh, to rush everyone's gonna have to spend a fatigue did you clear your fatigue oh, uh, oh no zoo okay. yeah the um the move i used costed one fatigue so it just canceled out but thank you all right everyone mark a I'm fatigue. At full fatigue you're at full I'm, fatigue i'm rushing on that i'm at i'm at five well right on I'm the rushing. 
Yeah. Right on Joe. Make Joe. <laughs> oh, that's true. I guess it's Joe who's running. <laughs> I'll, I'll let that Loop slide. Hole. I think that Joe will Jolo will take the fatigue. Come on, he's your, a kid. your Velociraptor Triceratops will allow you to keep up with everyone. Hell yeah. Ah, Very nice. Thanks, Joe. I'm so yeah. tired. Because you barely <laughs> cling on. Um you guys I race my through. Band thing <laughs> you race through this part of the forest. Trees passing, streams underfoot. You hear like the chattering of like the bird squirrels as they fly around in the Avatar universe. Um, you know, it's a brown squirrel cardinal. You know the ones. They live in this area. Um, as you race ahead i think all of a sudden you catch sight there is ananta on like what looks like a stretcher being pulled deeper into the forest and pulling the stretcher is a black robed black clad figure oh no, oh, no. can oh. we do anything to stop it you can't throw a boulder. Just... <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Hit a nunta. <laughs> just create walls <laughs> around them so they can't move. Yeah. Uh, I mean, move you forward. immediately start to catch up. You start to create walls in front of it. Jet throws a boulder. Roll, roll. If you miss, you hit a nunta. Oh, no. <laughs> What am I rolling with? Just so I can tell my die. Rely on skills and training. Is this is this person the same size as Baba? Yeah. Okay. Or are they like clearly a different person? They're way smaller. Okay. 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 Uh, yeah. So I'm just like pissed that it's not Baba. It's an eight. Yeah. On a nine. On an eight, you hit it. Um, it like stumbles forward, hits the wall. It, I'm gonna say like. And I, I freaking know it. You get there. You knock it. Uh, it's one of those ninjas. It's one of the uh, the ninjas, and even like it's one of the ninjas, and it like you knock it out, and the ninja looks damaged. Um, like maybe it's already been attacked. Um, and I think that everyone here, like Ananta's here, she's knocked out. Um, she looks like blood, like streaming, like down her like temple. Um. She's not looking too good, and the the ninja's like out. It's it's done. Connie, Can... yeah, heal her. Look at... I mean that's that, that's easy. I can. Connie is running over. It's just to, uh, I'll dump water all over her. I have to. <laughs> splash, round and round. <laughs> splash. And it's just water. splash her water on her face and be like, oh, that's not working. And then like. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, I got it! Uh, I need a mark of fatigue to heal. While Colony's wow. healing Ananta, we haven't seen a ninja without their robes, right? Like, we don't know, like, what their getup is, aside from just, like, cloaked figures. Not really, no. Like, you you had the chance when they were all down on the beach, because uh, you guys had taken a couple down, but because Zoo, Sue was, like, looking for the orphans and like you guys were like really upset and like trying to catch up to them and stuff. I think no one ever took the time to, to really stop. Cool. Well, I'm taking thought, it now. I thought, well, yeah, but I, I thought we were under the impression that they were like zombies or like, yeah, I think there was, Oh, you know what you guys did? We got a glimpse or, or something at them. They didn't look like entirely human. Yeah. You looked at it and then Ananta actually had studied them for a second. And then she was the one mm. of like, the, the, this is like, you know, this is a zombie, essentially. So you take a look, Shen. Um, and incredibly. Oh. Are they wolf spider lycanthropes? Stop. No, hold on. <laughs> uh, you, find, you find Noma. One of the Noma. orphan kids. What? I'm sorry, what kids? Wait, 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 wait. Who's the kid? Where's Zoom the? I mean, the like, I know who the kid is, but like, is the kid the it's hooded figure? figure. Uh, yeah. Oh my! It is the figure. Um, 
engraved on their head is the like re- like the reverse um caduceus rod with like the oh, like the no. symbol of like that uh, kind of like pentagram type thing um it's not quite a pentagram it's like a runic configuration that like looks like a star um like blank like like milky eyes um and the veins like all like blue and purple and showing over the like the really pale white skin um noma's gone no more noma okay um what is going on uh yeah this is a lot to process Right. Um, is is Nanta okay? Turn to Colony. What does it do? Uh, my healing does apply water to inv- reinvigorate and close wounds on a willing target. Mark one fatigue to heal an ally in reach who is evading and observing. Clear an appropriate status from them and clear three fatigue or two conditions. The ally has to be evading and observing. It does. Hold on a bit. Mark one fatigue. Oh yes. Yeah, it says mark, heal an ally in reach who is evading and observing that. Okay, so and I'll say you have the skill based. to heal. Yeah, this is like a comp, like this is the rules for combat. So I'll say you mark your fatigue, you're able to heal. What are the results? Like they gain a fatigue? The, they, they cleared appropriate status, clear and clear three fatigue or con- two conditions. Okay, so I think that in this case, uh, you clear two conditions, and Ananta is able to wake up, um, and she's like kind of like weak, still on the stretcher, um, kind of like smiles at you. I didn't, I didn't see anything. What do you mean? Are you- yeah, it's. I mean, it's okay. You're okay now. You're okay now. I mean, she's gonna look what to say that we haven't even asked. <laughs> Sorry, what do I have any what? What you're fine, it's fine. We're fine. We're gonna we're, we are getting out of this place. I'm gonna try and pick her up. What just leave her on the stretcher. Use a stretcher and bring her out. Uh, I mean, like you go, you go to do that, and she like she'll get up shakily with Colony and be like, "No, no, I'm I I can get out of here. I can leave." Speaking of that, where are we? I mean, can I just um, use like kid? an Earth Tower to just, just leave him? Check around. <laughs> uh, it'll be a fatigue if you want to Earth Tower up to the tree tops. That high up. Uh, I'll take it because we don't know where we are right now. Yeah, um, but, uh, you get the fatigue. Sorry, go. Yeah. just uh, wanted to ask: Did Noma leave? They're unconscious on the ground. Oh no, no, Noma's dead. Oh right, oh. yeah. Jet hit her with the rock. <laughs> oh, I just there's, full out killed no. Okay, there, so, there's uh, no pulse. Oh, sure. and... I don't mean to laugh, but um... <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. Uh, yeah, you guys fully hit no with a rock, but it's, it's, this is just like this is another one of the ninjas you guys have been taking yeah. out, and like when once you there's something about when you guys knock them out, they like like a like a toy that has had its batteries pulled out, they collapse. They lose the connection. Mm. Yeah, so I'm just like standing over Noma. Um, I, I want to like hold her like head, and I'm just like streaming like tears. I'm just like, I didn't know. I didn't know. Uh, yeah, I, don't know I think is. Zoo Zoo's like choking up a little bit inside too. Um, but before like any of that can even get out, he's just like so much has been going on that like his just gotten him so upset he's just gonna like <sighs> slam the ground with his foot the signature earth bend and just like suck noma's body into the earth and just like <sighs> basically like fold it into the ground and i just like 
I just <laughs> turn away from Jet and I, I go off to be alone for a bit. So Jet, you're left there. It's done. Turned Earth. Shen shoops up into the the treetops. Um, yeah, Shen, you guys are quite a ways away from the village, uh, and we're getting into the afternoon now. We just need a general direction of where to go to get back. Yeah, so you're able to see it. You're able to kind of like place where you should go. Um, I think that at this point, and I'm trying to clock for that uh, large dinosaur as well that we saw. You unfortunately don't see the large dinosaur, but you are essentially at the edge, um, the very edge of like the great forest and like the the area that's controlled. Like it's like a wild, like pure wilds. Um, okay. So it's it's going to be like you would get back to town like by the evening. Okay. And as long as I know the general direction, uh, once everyone's uh, gathered themselves, mm -hmm. we can set off. Hey. So I'll come back down and take stock of the situation. Yeah, I don't move for like a while. All right. Um, the despair, the sadness, the reality kind of set, settles in, I think, a little bit. Anata's still weak there. Rufu, Jolo, what are you guys doing as uh, your party is in, in grieving around? I think Shen and Colony, you guys too. Jet. It's been like, you know, Jet, it wasn't, wasn't your fault, dude. You, you did the right thing. Oh, Killed her. It doesn't matter what happened to her. I killed her. I think Ananta like speaks up weakly and says, "I, I think they're already dead. I don't think it was you. You saw what she looked like. That either way, she came for Ananta, and you defended her. Sorry, Shai. What'd you say?" You didn't think uh Colony's just trying go. to like make sure an office saves her strength. She like leans into you. Um are you gonna roll to guiding comfort, Rufu? I guess sure. All right, pull your move. Uh ooh, that's a four. Uh, on a four, that's a miss. Yeah, I think, like, it just doesn't get to me at all. I'm just frustrating you. <laughs> like, I hear the words, but, like, I don't believe the meaning behind them. All right. Sue, as you're off alone, thinking, what are you feeling yeah, right yeah. now? Um, right balanced. now? Balanced between yeah. care and force and in this moment feeling vulnerable having come out of this like intense situation uh, a forceful situation what are you leaning towards um well i'm i'm still tipped entirely towards force uh and more so than ever now that my center has shifted um and he would i mean he's been feeling insecure ever since he got like baited by baba but now, like, seeing uh, Noma, seeing the Black Hood, uh, being reminded of, like, what happened on the beach with all the orphans, them getting kidnapped, uh, Sue's starting to, like, blame himself. And he's starting to, he's coming to the realization, this is his realization, that he's not, he's not acting enough. He's not doing enough. He needs to be more forceful. Um... And in this moment, while he's alone, away from everyone else, he's going to leave and go out, try and find Baba. So he's going to take foolhardy action without consulting his, his crew so that I can get rid of Insecure because I'm feeling assured of myself now that I want to beat the shit out of Baba. And I want to take action into my own hands and not fuck it up. 
and I don't think that uh, I, I think I all the responsibility is on me. So uh, the others don't need to get involved. Yeah. All right. You go off I alone. Go off. I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that to me. Uh, <laughs> Do you do anything to figure out where to go? Um, I remember that the, he, he had his hook shot. So maybe I keep my eyes on the trees more than on the ground. But what direction do you walk in? <laughs> I, it's, it's, I, I actually, I start going back the way we came. Um, okay, you have I know you, that he yeah. was there at some point. All right. I haven't brought this into okay. play yet. But I have a nice little... Ooh, what is it? I can't see what's on it. A, yeah, it's not focusing on the coin itself. Is that like intestines? <laughs> I was really hoping it would focus. Snake? Yeah, because snake. Um, let's see the other claw. side. An elephant? Looks like claw marks. It looks like an elephant. They're claw marks, <laughs> and there's a dinosaur <laughs> rex on the side. Um, uh, <laughs> this is a Jurassic Park three commemorative coin. I <laughs> <that's laughs> so pulling out the commemorative coin. <laughs> um, we're gonna put the really? Claw marks. You claw your way back to town. Nice. Back to town. Holy shit! Okay. Where do you think Baba is? I don't know. That's. You're going back the way uh, you came? Is he back? He's back home. <laughs> oh, you're going back the way you came? Yeah, okay, okay, I understand. You're heading where Baba's home is. Heads. You encounter the Allosaurus. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, bring it. Bring it. I'll fucking take it out of oh my I'll God. that. I'll hunt that, okay? And I'll prove everyone that I'm better than Baba. Oh, wait. It's cocked. Hold on. Come on. Claw, claw. Allosaurus, please. I didn't touch nothing. <laughs> oh, here we go. Is it an oh, elephant? Oh, we're, we're fine. Where we're we fine. Uh, yeah, it. That is. <laughs> Hold on, I got to move on. It's the head. It's the head. Can y'all see that? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. It's the head. Oh, it All focused. right. It focused. Okay. Hey, focus. Hey, focused. Yay. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> We're in trouble. I'm in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Party wise. Sue. Mm. You're alone in the woods. You're angry. You're desperate. I think that you're torn between the love that you have for your found family and how much you want to help them and how much you want to destroy another human being who's you know causing this to be worse and worse than it already is and they don't even know half of what they've been doing your great enemy is ahead of you and i think you race towards them as you race headlong into danger. The dinosaur is there. I think that you happen upon essentially its feeding ground, its nest. Carcasses and bones surround you. As you look up, it lunges for you and attacks. Jeez. How much fatigue do you have currently? Three. Three fatigue. How many conditions are marked? Zero. What do you do in this moment? What do I do in this moment? The jaws coming straight at me. Can I just fill its mouth with like dirt and stone? There's no time. There's no time. Damn it. Okay. Um, I steal myself. I take my, my super sumo stance. And I get ready to, uh, to to either deflect it. If I mean it's a dinosaur, it's a freaking T Rex head. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and stand my ground. 
I don't want to be uh, pushed away from my adversary. You don't give an inch. (laughs) And in this moment, as the jaws envelop you, right, you feel the power of the earth. Oh. You become a rock. Yes. (laughs) You black out. I am the... Oh. <laughs> <Avatar's later. laughs> your consciousness is gone i think okay. the rest of you as you race you know at some point you notice that sue's not coming back you look around you find the lack of tracks you race back towards town you find a rubble strewn kind of like mess it looks like a rock slide kind of happened um and it was all the earth kind of being pulled towards Sue as he made himself into a rock. There's blood, and you find a big dinosaur tooth. And then an unconscious Sue gashes across his body. Sue, you have a bunch of puncture marks of teeth in you. God. Uh-uh. One of your eyes is gone. <laughs> Oh. But he's alive. But we're twins. Uh, yeah, we are twins. Chloe's running over to once again do healing. <laughs> heal butt. Heal butt. Pocket water runner. Pocket water runner. Quick. Oh my god. Uh, what can I have that, leave? that uh, tourniquet thing? Stretcher? Stretcher? I don't think we've. You thought, you know, yeah. I'm not just like riding on Jolo, probably, as you guys raced, like rushed. Um, but yeah, you guys can get Sue and travel back towards the village. Um, you get there, and the villagers kind of like go to start like helping and preparing things. Um, and Sue is like put to in a medical tent to heal um, and reawaken. Drop the giant dinosaur yeah. tooth, right? As proof, of course. Uh, yeah, you can grab the giant, the the dinosaur tooth. I think that as you lie there, Sue, drifting kind of in and out of consciousness, we're gonna have a little bit of a time skip of oh, like a week as Sue recovers enough to be moving around and doing stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, a week. And we'll talk a little bit about what that is next time on Avatar Age of Bones. What? Oh my god. Yo, Zoo's fucking hot now. I got scars, baby. <laughs> <All those guys. laughs> Listen, having one eye isn't that bad, I promise. You can choose when to have one eye. <laughs> you can't. Wait a minute. I'm just happy I got to use my coin. Um, yeah holy shit all right so <laughs> i get to we get to do the end of session exp 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 all righty when i click this did you learn something challenging exciting or complicated about the world yes they're using mm-hmm. freaking yep. kids the zombies My are the people <laughs> There's something going on with these zombies. The kids are not safe. Did you stop a dangerous threat or solve a community problem? No. Oh, stop the threat. Dangerous threat. Spiders? Yeah, spiders. The spiders are pretty stop dangerous. The threat. Threat. <laughs> they they were a threat to Sue, I would say. Ananta's life was threatened as well. Um so I'll, I'll give you guys that one. It wasn't a. It definitely wasn't a community problem, as I intended. We're our own community. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Uh, did you guide a character towards balance or end the session at your center? I did. Yes. Nope. No. Sue, your center is uh, now the, the plus one. So yes. Oh, I do. Ooh. Okay. Move. It's your new center. Now yeah. your center is partly force. Right, right. But I, I wasn't uh, didn't realize that I would reset. That's actually pretty interesting. Hmm. 
I like it. All right. Um, so that, that's a kind of a grab bag. Let's get into the, the nitty gritty. Rufu and Jolo. Do you express vulnerability? Is there? Nah. Yeah. I don't think you expressed that you were wrong in any way. Um, but you did guide and comfort somebody. Um, I tried. Tried. Sue, did you make progress towards your goal against your adversary? Uh, no. Well, okay. Well, I actually, I have a question because for me, it says when you successfully accomplish your goal and defeat your adversary is when I get the AXP. That's what it says on my sheet. Uh, so I definitely I'm going off. That. I'm going off the most recent PDFs. Okay. So there were alterations that were made. So gotcha. mine should be the the. Okay. What, the, what do you call it? The Bible. Hmm. The, the, the Quora, the fucking Quran. This is blasphemy. I'm sorry, everyone. Um, oh, we uh, just lost uh, 13 followers. <laughs> <laughs> wow, all 13. We only have 11. That's incredible. In a, for a geek community. Um, Jet, did you improve the lives of a community of average citizens or help an ordinary person with their problems? Definitely not. Honestly, I acted against my uh, my like core being today. I feel like I lose oh. XP. Whoops. <laughs> I don't think you lose XP, but I do think that like you're conflicted and in turmoil a little bit as uh, your friend got seriously injured. Damn. Shen, did you express vulnerability by admitting you were wrong or that you should have listened to someone you ignored? Nope. There's no one around, unfortunately, to have these conversations with. Um, Not really. Yikes. Hmm. Colony, did you resolve an issue or conflict relying on something other than your training? No. Not in the least. I would agree. Bit of a rough session, everyone, as you chased off after Baba. Um, sorry, guys. No, I'm not so sorry. It's what, you, it's what Zoo needed. Yeah. Yeah, and I think I'll just yeah. leave the session off that as Sue kind of seems to recover and like start to get out of bed, Jolo falls ill. Jolo? That forge what? is terrible. There was something that was wrong with him. Colony mentioned it at the start. It was. That wasn't that long ago. It was a week ago. Like an hour? Not a week ago. No, because the time skip oh, for an hour uh, for the week. Right, for... right, right. Well, thank you everyone for watching, and we'll see you next Tuesday, 7 30. Come and see what happens. Will Jolo survive? Can Sue still fight? And can Your anyone in this town on help our young adventurers? Help. You got <laughs> Take care, everyone. <laughs> Thanks Bye. so much for coming. Bye. Take care, everyone. Bye.